following is a special presentation of the Pro Late Model Dirt Series, exclusively on the Turn 3 Racing Network. Your home for everything e-speed. The Pro Late Model Dirt Series is brought to you by ShowMeDirt.com, Torque Graphics, 107 Tire and Service Center, Cool Ray Heating and Air Conditioning, Vortex Wraps, Damian Patton Real Estate, Houston Guttering, CK Racing, Evolution Racing Technologies, 946 Designs, Combs Cuts, Scott Morgan Flooring, Marvel Portable Welding, Jekyll Controls, Evolution Bodies, Collins Lawn Care, and Justin Sick iRacing Photos. He's not going to waste any time. Can he go to two for one in turn number one? Here we go. Four wide to all you race fans tuning in here tonight. The race is on here for the race lead. Welcome in here, race fans, tonight to the Fairbury Speedway. It's the Illinois Dirt Classic. And we are here tonight with the Pro Late Model Dirt Series presented by ShowMeDirt.com. Last night, these drivers put on a little bit of a prelim for all you race fans. And boy, was it one heck of a barn burner. 25 laps the distance. And Tater Williams was able to lead all 25 laps en route to his second win of the season. And he is going to take over the points championship lead after last night's win. He, This is the first time anybody else other than Chase Wascom has led the points championship ever here with the Pro Late Model Dirt Series. So that is a good thing to see that Tater Williams takes over the points championship lead with Chase Waskin in second. Justin Glenhill is in that third position. Terry or Cody Terry is sitting there fourth. And Brandon Combs is sitting there fifth. That's your top five coming into tonight. Who is going to be able to win the fifth race of the season is the question. It has been on everybody's mind as, of course, coming into the night tonight here. For the Illinois Dirt Classic is brought to us by Combs Cut. A cut above. If you have, well, anything that has four wheels on it and it goes on the dirt, I heard Brandon Combs is the man that can get you to the front with his cuts. So make sure if you're in the uh, market of needing some cut tires, some sight tires, head on over and talk to Brandon Combs at Combs Cut. Always be a cut above they are tonight's presenting sponsor here for round number five of this season and man who is going to be the cut above looks like 18 drivers have made their way here to the fairberry speedway and man i'm just ready to get ready to go racing race fans it's a whole new night the track is ready it is perfect prepped from last night already these drivers just went off and had to dust off the speedway as you see it right there our friend in the flag stand tonight waving that checkered flag that is robbie gold the flag man here tonight of course terry patterson our pace truck driver tonight here at fairberry so we are officially ready to go racing heat race number one will be coming up onto the speedway and of course Heat race number one brought to us by 946 Designs. Let's head down and take a look at our Damian Patton real estate starting lineup. Starting on the front row here tonight, driver out of Ohio. This is the number 28 of Brandon Combs. He will roll off P number one. Cody Terry in the 25 tonight. Start P number two here in heat race number one. And it's Cody Early, the 3E back there, P number three. Chase Wascom, he's looking to try and take back that points championship lead, and it all starts right here in heat race number one. He'll start fourth. Dylan Hutchinson scheduled to roll off in the fifth position, and Tater Williams, your new championship points leader, will start in the sixth position. That is, of course, your starting lineup here tonight, brought to us by Damian Patton Real Estate. 
So we are ready. Eight laps will be the distance for all these drivers. You see them all down here onto the grid as it looks like five drivers have taken to the grid and we will go with five drivers here for heat race number one. Who's ready to spray some dirt tonight here, race fans? And who do you got? Who is going to win the whole kit caboodle at the end of this one? Who's going to sight and groove those tires like the guys over at Combs Cuts to get you all ready? Is it going to be Brandon Combs who starts on the pole here tonight in heat race number one? There you see him in that Combs Cut number 28. Who will be the driver? Will it be Cody Early rebounding from last night's uh, little bit of mishap? He said he stepped on himself. His uh, steering box was not quite up to snuff. They said they got it figured out here tonight. As Chase Wascom there in the Turn 3 Racing Network entry, he has got that number 15 ready to go. It's the Fly High Remy entry. And, of course, Sater Williams will tag the rear of the field last night's winner. So could he go three in a row? We're about to find out. I racing base truck down and away, and the green flag is up here tonight. Put eight laps on the distance here in the 946 designs heat race number one. Look at the outside there, Cody Terry right up against the boards. Everybody going to lead him up there, and here comes that 25 at the stripe. It'll be Brandon Combs, though, with the first lap in the books here tonight. Down the back straightaway, they still go. Here comes Chase Waskin. He is trying to get himself a good starting spot. Look at Tater Williams. He goes down to the bottom side, catfishing here tonight. They're going to leave the 3E e of Cody Early in the dust here. And look at Tater Williams go where they ain't, and he's right around the bottom. But look at these two still for the race lead. They're going to come by this time. They're see five laps to go. Heat race number one right here. And, oh, a little bit of a mishap there by the 25 of Cody Terry. He went up and scraped the wall at the flag stand. He lost a little bit of ground, and he's squirrely off of turn number two, losing more ground. Here comes Tater Williams down to the bottom. He's got it hooked up down low, and he just picked off Chase Blascom. Does he have the hot shoe here tonight? Does he have the hot setup as he throws it in there, picks the left front up on this late model and puts it back down and scoots on away. One of them up against the boards. That's 25, still a Cody Terry. Here comes Chase Blaskin. Three laps to go. Heat race number one. Boy, these guys are putting on a show. These top four have absolutely set sail here. Five drivers did take the grid. It will be five drivers on all advance here into the feature coming up a little bit later on. Presented by ShowMeDirt.com. Now they're starting to really figure it out here. Everybody's starting to find a groove for themselves. Brandon Combs will come across the line. He will see one lap to go here. Heat race number one about to come into the books as it's still anybody's ball game here. Combs going to go down into the corner. They're three wide behind and battling for second. It's going to be B. Combs. Brandon Combs. It's going to be Cody Terry, Tater Williams, and Chase Wascom coming across the line. Cody early back there in P number five. So Brandon Combs is a cut above here tonight, and he will take heat race number one, brought to us by 946 Designs. Heat race number two starting to take to the grid, and that is brought to us by Justin Sick Eye Racing Photos. Let's take a look here at the Damian Patton Real Estate starting lineup for heat race number two. Starting on the front row, drives the 37. This is going to be Brandon Marlowe. Starting P number two, driving car number 61. This is Brian McDaniel. Starting back in P number three, he drives the 1C. This is Colin Balls. Brian Balls will start right alongside him at the number 41 entry. Behind them will be the 48 of John Talkington. Actually, it looks like it's going to be Justin Glenhill. They haven't swapped on the timing and scoring here, but those are your six drivers here. Heat race number two. And who will win heat race number two? It's going to be the tricky one here tonight. This heat race has everybody's eyes on it. Who will win heat race number two? Will it be that 37 machine? He's looking to have himself a good night. The driver out of Missouri, that's Dexter, Missouri, the Rocket XR1 chassis. The field, of course, sprinkled. I say sprinkled, I mean absolutely coated with those Rocket chassis here tonight. Put eight laps on the board, scores, and here we go. It's the Justin Sick Eye Racing Photos, heat race number three. Three wide out of turn number two, leading on each other. The one C going to go around. Caution lights immediately onto the speedway. Didn't get a lap in the books here, so we should be able to re-rack them, re-stack them. Colin Ball is going around. Brian Ball is also involved in that number 41 entry. Looks like just a little bit of squirreliness up and off quarter number two as they were three wide racing here in heat race number two. Take the look back here, see if we can grab it from our inside our infield camera. There you see the 1C, there's the 61 to the outside of McDaniel. There's the 
511 entry. And the two family relations go around, and both of them get hammered back into the uh, throttle there and get going. But that's what brings us under caution for the first time here this evening. But we'll see where everybody is going to be scored here. If it is a 100% restart, it does look, and it looks like the iRacing.com pace truck is off, so we're going to go right here. Green flag coming back in the air. Green flag back up. The 37 of Marlowe hits the gas, and he's going to go down to the corner. He'll ride the high side here after caution number one out onto the speedway. A couple drivers back here swapping it up already. It's the 1C of Colin trying to make his way back up through the field. The 5-1-1. Justin down low having a little bit of problems there. As our scoring all updates for all you race fans, still six laps to go. Caution laps here tonight at the Fairbury Speedway. Of course, not counting. That one C up against the boards. They're having some handling problems, but he's going to try and get a corrected battle for the race lead, though. Here comes Brian McDaniel. He's down to the bottom side. That 61 is digging, trying to get that Milner Designs entry. That 37 of Brandon Marlowe as they're three wide behind him with four laps to go. That time by at the strike. Battle for this third position. Brian falls to the outside in the number 41. He'll lay it up against the boards. He laid it up against the boards. Now to turn number two, and he stays in it. That rocket ship is still rocking and rolling around the top side of the speedway. Oh, the 61 of Brian McDaniel had a little bit of problem. He went top shelf, cut it straight down, and rocketed off the corner. Marlowe is absolutely gone. Two laps to go. Popsicle sticks up for all these drivers here tonight as we are putting on a show here tonight. The sun is still up here at Fairbury, and these drivers are showing that even in the daytime, you can get a good show. Moisture still being able to be held into the track as, oh, now we got the battle for second on the final lap here. Brandon Marlowe out front. Is it going to be Brandon and Brandon that win their heat races? It is. Brandon Marlowe winning. It's going to be Brian McDaniel, Justin Glenn Hill. Brian Balls, Colin Balls, and John Talkington coming across the line. So that is your second heat race of the night, and that one's in the books. It's been a Brandon and Brandon show so far. Let's see what heat race number three has for us. Of course, heat race number three brought to us by our friends over at Torque Graphics. And this is how the Damian Patton Real Estate starting lineup looks here. It'll be the driver of the number 22 of Brandon Bender, the double B machine rolling off P number one. It's Dustin Kenyon in the car double zero entry. He'll roll off P number two with the 51. Out of Tennessee, this is Jacob Lasseter. Starting in position number four, drives car 18. This is Josh Myers. Andy Pierce Field will drive car number 75, the Cool Ray Machine. He'll start P number five. The car number 16 out of Illinois, it's Dave Watsager. He will start shotgun to the field. That's your Damian Patton Real Estate starting lineup here for heat race number three tonight, brought to us by Torque Graphics. So far, we've had two heat races. And they have been won by Brandon Combs and Brandon Marlowe. Who will be able to separate it? Will it be Brandon Bender? Can we go Brandon times three here for our heat races tonight? One car not taking to the starting lineup here is actually going to be, it's going to be a scratch for the 18 of Josh Myers. So he'll see if he can get his car out onto the racetrack. And then he will be able to line up shotgun to the field for the feature event later on here tonight at the Fairbury Speedway. So we will go with five cars, eight laps the distance for heat race number three. 700 horsepower out there for each one of these drivers on dirt and dirt's hard enough to drive. And then you put 700 horsepower underneath the hood of these machines and they just pretty much become undrivable. That's why you see these drivers Really throwing it in sideways to try and scrub off as much speed as they can with the iRacing.com pace truck down and off the racing surface. Brandon Bender last night was able to pick up a heat race, or actually did not, but had a top three finish in his heat race as the green flag is up here. Heat race number three is officially underway. Heat race number three, and Brandon Bender going to lead lap number one, but look at Jacob Lasseter. He is coming in the max green entry. He was right there at the end of lap number one. Dustin Kenyon also there is Wadsager. Dave Wadsager coming down to the inside. He's got the outside. That's the double zero. Dustin Kenyon. Kenyon got to put it up against the boards. Exiting turn number two. There he goes into three. He's got to jump the cushion once again. 
Juan Sager and Kenyon throwing the haymakers at each other. Brandon Bender, though, is out front for a Wednesday evening drive here. A little contact back here for the third position. It looks like Juan Sager is going to take it. As you look back with our cool Ray on board camera. Look at that shot there as Kenyon really laid it up against the boards. Maybe got that right rear just up against it. How cool is that shot from our friends at Cool Ray? Two laps to go this time by though. Brandon Bender out front. 22 tried to make it a three-peat for the Brandons. A white flag into the air. He just has to bring it back around here one more time. Brandon Bender trying to pick up a heat race win here tonight. He'll come out of turn number four. He'll see the checkered flags. It'll be Brandon Bender, Jacob Lasser, Dave Watsager, Dustin Kenyon, and Andy Piercefield coming one, two, three, four, and five across the stripe. There you have it, race fans. Three heat races and three Brandons. There's only three Brandons in the field tonight, and all three of them have picked up a heat race win. I don't think I've ever been able to call a race in my entire iRacing career where I've seen three Brandons go to victory lane. So as they are going to work the track in just a little bit here, we're going to take a quick step away this evening, and we're going to see if we can get a couple words in from our sponsors and then talk to our three heat race winners here. Don't go anywhere, race fans. 65 laps for the feature event coming up just after this. The Pro Late Model Dirt Series is brought to you by ShowMeDirt.com Torque Graphics 107 Tire and Service Center Spray Heating and Air Conditioning Vortex Wraps Damian Patton Real Estate Houston Guttering CK Racing Evolution Racing Technologies 946 Designs Combs Cuts Scott Morgan Flooring Marvel Portable Welding, Jekyll Controls, Evolution Bodies, Collins Lawn Care, Oops. Tire and Service Center, we pride ourselves on being professional and reliable while giving you an honest service at an affordable price. From alternators, brakes, and computer diagnostics to motors and transmissions, most repairs come with a 12-month and 12,000-mile warranty on parts and labor. Need tires? We have those, too. Major brands such as Cooper, Hankook, Michelin, and more. We are a family-owned, operated business located at 6256 Irwin Highway, Chucky, Tennessee. Call or stop by today for a quarter repair. 423-620-4970. Kicker Gamer 2, what you see and what you hear is what you feel. Butt Kicker, the future is feeling. At Carrier, ventilating and air conditioning in healthcare settings. And since inventing modern air conditioning in the early 1900s, we've continued to create innovative solutions to overcome them. How do we do that? By looking at air differently. From integrated HVAC system design and optimization to control and service, our experts can help you see innovative ways to improve air quality throughout your facility. It's a process that allows you to see even greater benefits like meeting specific air and ventilation requirements to manage infection control, and enhancing health and comfort through more localized control of air temperature and ventilation, both of which can yield increased patient satisfaction scores, and even improve staff productivity. 
So whether you need HVAC solutions for new construction, replacements, or temporary supply, turn to the experts at Carrier. We'll work with you to provide an optimized continuum of air for your continuum of care. For more information about our products, resources, and services, and to connect with your local expert, visit carrier.com slash healthcare. People want to have a one-stop shop. They need us for now all these different services, not just the heating and air side. When things are going wrong, you want the company that's going to be able to get things done as fast as possible for you. Today, we're going to be in over 600 homes. What the customers can count on is we're going to send a competent person to your home with a vehicle that's stocked and prepared. We're going to do what's right. Right now, we're waiving our $79 service fee with any Cool Ray, Brightbox, or Mr. Plumber service. Hello, my name is Benny Boudreau and I created the Spring Rhythm app. The Spring Rhythm app allows someone who doesn't have access to a spring smasher to be able to set their car up to their manufacturer's suggested install loads and center to centers, as well as be able to figure out their dynamic loads, as well as make adjustments to them to make their handling of their car better. For someone who does have a spring smasher, Spring Rhythm will greatly reduce the amount of time to figure out those new stack setups by allowing for instantaneous spring rate changes, as well as load changes. Spring Rhythm will even make sure that your setup doesn't cool bind at the loads that you're trying to hit. For only $4.99 a month, you too can have access to the same information that top late model teams across the country are using to gain a competitive advantage. We take many precautions to stay protected. Online protection requires the same amount of precaution. Cybercrime is a $6 trillion industry. Roughly 158 people fall victim to this type of crime every second. And a business will be compromised every 11 seconds. In the last three years alone, the number of malicious websites has increased by 130%. Bottom line, you need protection from someone you trust. Call Computer Pros for protection plans as low as $4 a month. At Marvel's Portable Welding Incorporated, they've strived for over 35 years to make their name stand out in great customer service and quality work. They know the two go hand in hand. Without the support of Southern Delaware, they could not continue to grow and provide the services they do today. Their welders have many years of experience and are certified in both structural steel and pipe. They're committed to getting the job done right, and that's what makes the difference. Marvels looks forward to working with you and thanks you for the opportunity to show you how they strive to be Southern Delaware's number one welding shop. Marvels Portable Welding. Find them on Facebook. Racers, get the most horsepower from your great engine with Pro Fabrication Headers and Exhaust. Pro Fabrication Headers and Exhaust is an official partner of the American Crate All-Star Series and used by winning racers such as Dylan Brown, Logan Robertson, Carson Ferguson, Christian Hanger, Cody Overton, and Eli Beats. Pro Fabrication Headers and Exhaust, just a click of a mouse away at ProFabrication.com. Quality that wins, get yours at ProFabrication.com. Welcome back here, Race Fans, to the Fairbury Speedway tonight for the Illinois Dirt Classic presented by ShowMeDirt.com. And of course, tonight's sponsor is Comb Cuts. A cut above the rest. If you have tires that need to be cut, look no further than Combs Cut. Contact Brandon Combs today. Let's head down trackside and actually talk to the driver of that machine out there. Brandon Combs, a heat race win for you here tonight. How was the car and how's the car ready for the feature? Uh, the car wasn't too bad. Uh, it's a little tight there. I wanted to be on the top, but I was kind of stuck on the bottom. Uh, Terry had it rolling for a little bit, and I was able to put together some good laps and hold them off there for a few. So as of right now, your schedule will have a pretty good starting spot. How much does a starting spot here tonight mean in the feature? Oh, it's huge here. I mean, it's it's hard to pass here. I mean, it can be single file on the top, single file on the bottom until it slickens up. So, it, I mean, it could make or break it, honestly. All right, well, hey, good luck out there tonight, Brandon Combs. Thank you, sir. 
So he is scheduled to start pretty well with another guy out there. He goes by the name of Brandon Marlowe. Brandon, you had a hot rod out there for heat race number two. What's the outlook going to be, though, here in the feature? Where are we going to find this 37? Uh, hopefully we can just survive with it being a long, long race here. Uh, the track's going to slick up. The, the top will be there, and then, you know, eventually it'll go away. So just name of the game, I think, is going to be surviving in the beginning, especially with the invert. Yeah, the invert to come here a little bit later on here from Dyer Trucking. So good luck here tonight, Brandon. We look forward to talking to you after this one. Appreciate it. There you heard it from heat race number three. Heat race number two, though, he goes by the name of Brandon also. This time, Brandon Bender. Bender, another hot rod. Two nights in a row we got to talk to you up here. Yeah, the, the car's feeling pretty good, but it's kind of kind of crazy. You got three Brandons winning the heats. I guess we're just fast today. Brandons are definitely wild. Where are we going to see you park this 22 tonight? Hopefully somewhere besides the wall. That would be preferable. Well, hey, just about time to go racing. Good luck out there. Thank you, sir. Well, let's take a quick look at the Dyer Trucking Invert here tonight. See where all these drivers are going to swap them up. Oh, boy, Ray Zanz is going to be, we're going to take seven, the top seven drivers tonight. We are going to invert them for the main event. So seven drivers going to invert on the Dyer Trucking Invert Wheel. Let's take you down and look at your starting lineup here for your Illinois Dirt Classic. Tonight presented by Colton's Cut. This is your starting lineup. Last night feature winner, he goes by the name Tater Williams. He'll start P number one. His outside driving car, number 51. This is Jacob Lassiter. Brian McDaniel in the 61 will go P number three. As Cody Terry in car 25 rolls off four. Fifth tonight, he won his heat race. This is Brandon Bender. Brandon Marlowe right alongside him in sixth. Seventh, well, it's another Brandon. Brandon Combs goes seventh. Eighth here tonight, the 5-1-1 entry is Justin Gilhill. Glenn Hill as he'll roll off eighth. Dave Wadsager in car 16 goes ninth with Chase Wascom back there in P10. Look for him to come through the field heavy and hot here tonight. Brandon Balls will go, or Brian Balls will go, car 41, P number 11. Dustin Kenyon, car double zero, rolling off in 12. 13th here tonight, Cody Early in car 3E, he'll roll off 13th. Colin Balls, the rookie in the 1C, will go 14th. Andy Piercefield, car 75, goes 15th with Dylan Hutchinson scheduled for 16th. John Talkington in 17th, and Josh Myers shotgun to the field here. 17 cars, race fans, did make their way trackside. So 17 cars will make up the starting lineup tonight here for the Illinois Dirt Classic, presented by Colts Cut. The Pro Late Model Dirt Series thanks all you race fans tonight for watching. The Pro Late Model Dirt Series brought to us by ShowMeDirt.com. Well, let's see what dirt racing is here at Fairbury. 65 laps, and we are green here in Illinois. 65 laps, you see Tater Williams down to the bottom side going catfishing here. Lap number one, three wide behind them. Look at the 22. Brandon Bender down below the 61 of Brian McDaniels. That's the 37 of Brandon Marlowe up top. Justin's just trailing in the 5-1-1 entry. He's having some blinky issues. One of them headed to the infield. As that'll bring out a caution, I believe. No, we stay green as he kept it going. That was a 61 of Brian McDaniels. He was pointed towards the infield. We stay green flag racing here. There's your race leader. Take a look off the back. Drop to us by 107 tire. And Service Center, this is your race leader, Tater Williams, out front here tonight. He is putting on a show. He is putting on a clinic. Has about a second and a half race lead over Cody Terry. Now, Brandon, ben Brandon Bender coming to the inside in the 22. He'll slide up in front of Cody Terry. He's bringing Brandon Marlowe along with him. Chase Blascom has also moved up five spots here tonight. The number 15 is hanging right along with him. He has moved up five spots. He is not done yet. You want to talk about somebody that's on the move, though. you got to go all the way back here to car number 18. Josh Myers, the rookie, has already picked up 18 spots since the drop of the green flag, and he is going to throw it in about midway into that corner. 
really pitch that 18, and now he'll fire down the back straight away. He'll do it again, turn number three, looking to get under Wadsager as Wadsager up into the outside wall that time in turn three and four, as that air safe entry right now holds down the ninth position. One of them up three wide back here, the 41. Brian Bolt's getting a little sandwich there by Brian McDaniel. And that is the 48 of John Talkington, also right there, the 48P. Your race leader, though, is setting on a show right on board here with your race leader with our Evolution Racing Technologies. He is catching the rear of the field. And look, listen to that throttle. He is just perfectly up against the boards riding. Eleven laps into the books here tonight as Cody Terry still back here. He is actually falling through the field as your race leader gets into lap traffic. Go, oh, one of them gonna go around right off. Oh! The 3E, Cody Early has gone up and over, and the 22 of Brandon Bender is caught at the catch fence. Bender into the catch fence in his 22 entry. Him and Cody Early getting caught in lap traffic together. And that's going to bring out the first caution flag of the evening. Brandon Bender and Cody Early. You see them already sitting down in pit road. Let's take a look here. Cody Early a lap down and Brandon Bender running in that second position. Early squirrely off the top side. Bender nowhere to go and then Marlowe comes in. And oh boy, Brandon Bender right up into the outside wall. Right on board here. With the show me dirt on board camera. Man, thank goodness for the catch fence out there. I know Brandon Bender doesn't want to be out there in the catch fence, but it's a good thing it's there. So that's the first caution flag of the evening. Couple cars wrapped up in that one. Wait to see if the iRacing.com pace car will make its way to pit road if we can get back going racing. The lights are, of course, on here tonight at the Fairbury Speedway racing into the... Uh, the darkness, 65 laps is the scheduled distance. Uh, let's fire him off this time out of turn number four. Green flag back up into the air. Vader Williams goes right back to the point. He'll go top shelf. Chase Waskin is there, though. They're going to pile him into turn number one. Couple of them going around right off the jump. And we we'll have to see who is all involved in this, what it looks like. Glenn Hill looks like he may be involved in the 155 entry. Let's take the look back and see if we can figure this out. Oh, well, the 16 of Watsager drives it in and gets involved. There's the 1C going around and double zero, I believe, of Kenyon also involved. There's the 75 of Andy Piercefield. He just stops down there. It's right on board with Andy Pierce Field. Just slight contact with the nose of his, with his late model. And then he fires it off and rolls it away. So a couple of them together, no harm, no foul, but we're getting ready to shake them down once again. Second caution flag of the night here on lap number 13. Looks like all 17 drivers that did take to the grid here tonight. Are out there. One driver did not start here tonight. That is Dylan Hutchinson. And we'll see uh, if we can get a report from Dylan here tonight. Looks like we'll go around one more time before we fire them back off. So it'll be Tater Williams, Chase Wascom, Cody Terry, and Brandon Combs. Jacob Laster sitting there in P number five, getting ready to go racing once again. Green flag back up, and we're already three wide before the flag stand. Three wide before the flag stand, as that was Jacob Laster going down to the bottom with number 51. He'll really throw it down into the bottom side. He'll go catfish and everybody else up against the boards. 
That's car 18 trying to come around there. I believe car that, that is car 18, I believe, of Josh Myers. He's picked the 14 spots and he gets around. He's got the two for one and one lap. 25 of Cody Terry really starting to fade here now in the mid stages of this one, about a quarter of the way in and you see him up against the fence. There's the one C of Colin Balls. He was down low. There's the 37 of Brandon Marlowe in there. Remember, Marlowe picked up heat race number two win here tonight. Tater Williams still out front. He's got a second lead over Chase Wascom as we watch the battle back here for that 10th position. The 37 of Marlowe gets a great run, just nowhere to go with it. The 25 of Cody Terry up in the outside lane. Also, that 1C says, well, if I can't go to the outside, I might as well go fishing down here. Oh, 25 of Terry really hard into the outside wall. He got it into the outside wall, then he got it all settled back down as Dustin Kenyon side by side with the 61 of Brian McDaniels. A little paint swapping back there. And oh, what am I gonna get? Dave Watsager into the back of the 75. That'll bring the caution flag out here. Caution number three on the track. Dave Watsager into the back of the 75 of Andy Piercefield. Let's ride on board here with our cool ray onboard camera. You're riding on board with the 75 of Andy Piercefield. Watch down into the corner. Oh, right there, he just gets him. Right into the cool ray bar camera. This is on board the number 16 of Dave Watsager. Two drivers fighting for the same real estate out there, and the 75 gets parked up against the, the light pole down on the infield. Looks like both drivers are able to pull away, though, and stay out onto the track. As we wait for all the transponders to give us some data, it looks like it'll be Tater Williams, Brandon Combs, Chase Wascom, Josh Myers, Jacob Laster, and John Talkington. Cody Terry back there in seventh. Brandon Marlowe was eighth. Justin, I believe, maybe, we're up to C. I believe that is the 155 entry up against the outside wall there. He is being scored in ninth. Tater Williams, though, going to fire it off. Next time, bye. Take another lap around here. Twenty laps in the books. Not quite halfway. Looks like we're not quite set. Everybody's still trying to figure out where they belong on the diving and scoring. The 155 entry having some connection problems here with the iRacing.com server. While we have a chance, we got to thank all the race fans for tuning in here tonight. Whether you're watching on the Pro Late Model Dirt Series Facebook page, the Turn 3 Racing Network YouTube feed, or on our Facebook. We thank you all for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying the show as we're back racing. 20 laps in the books. 20 laps in the books and a couple of drivers getting sorted out about that seventh position. Jacob Lasseter right now is being scored into the seventh spot as he drives to the center of the raceway right through the slick with that 51. Uh, there's a little contact down there. The one C gonna get a little squirrely. Colin Bowles able to keep going with the one C as they're back here still beating and banging, rubbing some paint. The 61 gonna go up. He's gonna jump the cushion, the little burn down to the inside actually. Right into the double zero as one of them's around. That's Justin. Glenn Hill as he is around bringing out the fourth caution flag of the evening. That's his 51 still having some connection problems. See if we can get a bead on this as we go back. As it looks like he blinks. Then he's back. And then he's gone. And next time he shows up on our screen, he is of course already spun around. So he'll go pit side with that 51. The 61 looks like he's having some issues also. So 
So while we have a second here to uh, talk, race fans, are you in the dirt racing world? Do you need your tires cut? Well, look no further, because there's a cut above for all you race fans, and that's Combs Cut. Head on over to Combs Cut, talk to Brandon Combs today, and get your tires, whether it's go-kart tires or late model tires, cut, grooved, and sight, ready to go to be a cut above. That's tonight's sponsor here for the Illinois Dirt Classic. This is round five for the Pro Late Model Dirt Series presented by ShowMeDirt.com. iRacing pace truck down and away off the racing surface. That means can we go racing here? Green flag back up into the air and we are racing. 23 laps in the books as, whoa, Josh Myers. Here he comes, the rocket. He'll go into the middle, though, because he's got John talking to him to the outside, and he is going to make a hole. The 37 of Brandon Marlowe just literally backed off the gas and let him get in line as the caution lights are on to the speedway. Caution lights on. Looks like the 1C, Colin Falls, possibly has been involved in a little bit of an accident out there. Uh, to bring us to a crawl here tonight at the Fairbury Speedway. Take a look at it, what happened to Colin Falls. He was up on the outside. Cody Terry had some issues and oh no, wrong place, wrong time. Colin Falls up over on his lid. Right on board with Colin Falls with the Evolution Racing Technology on board camera. Tried to go for the hole because it was there and all of a sudden that 25 of Cody Terry bobbed and weaved and unfortunately was caught up in it. Brandon Bender looks like he is going to get that lucky dog and back up and around he'll come. I believe that will put him on the same lap as the race leader, so he got the lucky dog award. Once we leave Fairbury here, we're gonna go to the uh, Knoxville Raceway, the sprint car capital of the world where the fendered machines will invade. That is next week here on the Turn 3 Racing Network for the Pro Late Model Dirt Series. We're head for the showmedirt.com 50 at Knoxville. Knoxville always puts on a good show, especially for these, for these drivers out there. A big wide track, unlike what we have here at the Fairbury Speedway. Of course, we love the Fairbury Speedway. Little bull rings like this all around the country are what make dirt racing what dirt racing is. A lot of these drivers that you see out here tonight, like Tanner Williams, of course, cutting his teeth in the real world side of things on the dirt. Bull rings in America. After we head to Knoxville, we're going to come back here to uh, the great state of Pennsylvania where our headquarters is. Let's rumble at the Grove at Williams Grove. Then we're going to head north to the New York State Line. We're going to go to Weedsport, that tricky track up in central New York. Before we go to Bristol, it's the clash at the Coliseum at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Then we're going to head to Lurville, back to Pennsylvania for two nights of racing, back-to-back -back nights. The Uncle Sam 25 and the Freedom 100 at Lernerville. Can't wait to get to Lernerville. That puts on uh, some of the best racing action, I would say. Of course, all the drivers right now here at the Fairbury Speedway, they're trying to get lined up. A couple drivers still out of place. Not sure what we're waiting for. Everybody looks like they're in the correct position. This time by, we're gonna drop the hammer. Peter Williams said, let's go chase the rabbit. Here we go to turn number one. Out to the outside, here comes Brandon Combs. That Combs cut machine is coming. He's to the outside of Chase Wascom. Chase down to the bottom side of the speedway and he's got a challenge for that second position, but Combs really to the outside. Chase trying to really hook the bottom, going catfishing here, trying to scrape everything off the bottom of the raceway tonight. Going to the bottom's not a bad idea. If everybody else is up against the fence trying to rip it, look at John Talkington. He's picked up 13 spots here tonight. 
Some contact a little bit deeper into the field. Dave Blotzacker trying to rip the lip up against the outside. Here comes Brandon Bender. He's down the lead side with his 22 machine. He's still got half a race left to get back to the front where he wants to be tonight. He works the bottom side of the speedway trying to get under Dave Watzager. Not able to make anything really happen with it. Watzager down to the bottom again. There's a 75 of Andy Piercefield. He is down there working here on lap number 30. Peter Williams, though, set sail once again. He just has the right setup underneath this number 182 entry. Driver out of Kentucky, the Longhorn chassis, trying to beat all those Rocket XR1 chassis tonight. What a great job with the battle back here. Brandon Bender, contact for wide. Bender to the outside. He'll go around the 61 of McDaniels. Now he's got to try and get around the number 16 of Watsanger yet as Bender still to the outside. He'll get that spot down the back straight away. Andy Piercefield is right out in front of him there, that 75. There's also the 5 wide, 5 one, one of Justin. Justin's going to get a little sideways down on the bottom. He'll be able to correct it. But look at that 22 of Brandon Bender. One of them going around to the infield. One of them going to the infield. That was the number 61 of Brian McDaniel. As the caution lights are going to come on for the number 61 of Brian McDaniel. As he went to pit road. So that brings the caution flag out once again here tonight at Fairbury Speedway, right at the halfway part. So we'll call this the halfway. So there you see the 61 spin it down to the infield and he comes back out onto the track, stops right there and that's what brings the caution flag out. Let's see if we can find the contact here. Looks like that was the 16 of Watsager and McDaniel getting together. Tater Williams, of course, is still the race leader. Well, race fans, what do you say? Who's your favorite driver? Who's going to win here tonight? Who is going to be a cut above? What about Brandon Combs? He's picked up a handful of spots here. Of course, he did win heat race number one. He actually had to start back in the seventh position from our dire trucking invert wheel that came up. And, well, he won heat race one, so that put him back to seventh. What about John Talkington? He's moved up 14 spots to be sitting there in P number three. Of course, you can't forget that 37 there of Brandon Marlowe. We got the chance to talk to him for the first time this evening here as he picked up heat race number two's win. And of course, Brandon Bender trying to make his way back up through as we go back green flag racing. 34 laps officially completed here tonight at the Fairbury Speedway. Uh, your race leader, Tanner Williams, gonna slip and jump over the cushion. Here comes Brandon Marlowe. Here comes Brandon Combs. Combs down to the inside. Marlowe right on the tail tank. Marlowe going to get through, and Combs going to go back to the top side. Here comes Lassiter, though, in the 51. He is right up underneath that 28 of Combs. Down to the bottom side, Chase Wassum still trying to work. as one of them going around. One of them goes around, John Talkington. And the 48P going to bring out the seventh caution flag of the evening. As we've had a handful of caution flags back to back to back here, only two laps each time. So John Talkington just getting a little squirrely, and that's going to cause the iRacing officials here tonight at the Fairbury Speedway to throw the caution flag. So we had a great start to this race here. So a lot of great green flag racing action before we had our first caution flag, and a couple of them here now just putting us slow into the night here in Illinois. Of course, the skyline beautiful here at the Fairbury Speedway. Look how black the top is getting uh, rubbered in. See if these drivers start to make their way down to the bottom side of the speedway. A lot of drivers still running the bottom side. So it is still Tater Williams. See if he can get a better start here. 
Marlowe will start to the outside. Row number two will be the 28 of Brandon Combs and Jacob Laster. Here we go, we fire them back off. That time, a much better start by your race leader, but everybody back here is three wide racing. Chase Wascom in the middle. Remember, Wascom no longer your point championship leader coming into round number five. Taylor Williams with back-to-back -back wins for the first time ever here with the Pro Late Model Dirt Series. We have a new championship leader. As Wascom is going to fill the hole there, here comes the 25 of Cody Terry back towards the front of the field. Wascom really throws it in there, trying to pick up those two positions. Just cannot get around that 25 of Cody Terry. Now he's going to clear him going down into turn number one. Brandon Combs now working the inside of the speedway. He's been down there for a handful of laps, 25 laps to go at the line. Going to be 24 this time by. But Brandon Combs went to the bottom and just has not found anything. Marlow got by him. Jacob Laster now in the 51. You see him up around the outside. As I believe the caution lights may come back on here. One of them down to the infield. I believe that's the 3E of Cody Early. Cody Early down to the grass in the pit road. 23 to go. We stay green flag racing for the time being. Race leader Tater Williams. Entering lap traffic there. He's going around the number 16 of Dave Watsager. Watsager down to the inside with 22 laps to go. The 16 will go a lap down. Brandon Marlowe still holding strong there. Jacob Blaster also right there. 21 laps to go here tonight at Fairbury Speedway. The Illinois Dirt Classic tonight brought to us by Cone Scott. One driver off the outside fence there. That's the one C, Colin Walls. He's just gonna beat down that concrete barrier on the outside. Andy Piercefield in battle back here with Brian Falls in that number 41 entry. Of course, Piercefield in that number six, or 75. Cool rate entry has gone around a couple times here tonight with a little bit of help. Looks like Cody Early has parked the three E tonight with 20 laps to go. He'll be the first retiree as your race leader is in heavy lap traffic, but he just has a lot of mirror full. If he had a mirror anyway. Look at the cool rate bar camera. This is just one of those absolutely cool shots brought to us by our friends over at Cool Ray. Tater Williams, your race leader, but Brandon Marlowe is right there. Jacob Laster, Intel also. Oh, Tater gonna make a mistake. Here comes the 37, Marlowe, slide job as he goes to the bottom of the speedway, crossover, Tater Williams. Tater gonna cross him over at the stripe. He goes right back to the point. But here comes Marlowe, he is hanging. Tater made one mistake, and Marlowe jumped on him to let him know, hey, I'm here and I'm ready to play. Another one to pit road, the 61 of Brian McDaniel has taken his number 61 to pit road to the infield. Race leaders working upon the number 75 of Andy Piercefield. 14 to go. This is the battle for the race lead for the possible win here tonight. Night number two at Fairbury for the Illinois Dirt Classic. 13 to go. Race leaders right up against the fence and in lap traffic now. Lap traffic starting to go to the bottom side of the speedway. As they work up on the 41, Brian Ball's going to go to the inside. All the slower lap cars going to the bottom side of the speedway, letting your race leaders race to the outside. Tater Williams now starting to pick up the pace, starting to roll away. Battle for third, though, is on the brew. And what's brewing as well? Actually, that's position number four. That's Chase Wascom and Brandon Combs. Combs finally working back to the outside here. Chase Wascom has just went down around the bottom side of the speedway all night long. Now he's starting to work about a car length up off the bottom side of the speedway. But Combs really working the outside. The 16 there, Watsack are getting out of the way of the battle for the position number four. As we're under 10 laps to go, we're past the point of no return as these drivers are battling right in front of your race leader. One of them gonna get into the wall, that's the 1C. Colin Balls gets into the wall, your race leader, Tanner Williams has to split down through the middle. And boy, that could have been terrible for your race leader. Tanner Williams trying to work through the lap trap with Brandon Marlowe still hanging there. All those lap cars being very respectful though here tonight. 
with under 10 to go. They don't want to be the reason that anything happens to the race leader. Next car up against the boards there. That's going to be the 18 of Josh Myers. Myers right out in front of your race leader. We'll see where he goes down into turn three. He goes right down the bottom. This will be five laps to go. It'll be the high how are you lap as the flag man wave. Five fingers in the air. Five laps to go tonight here at the Fairbury Speedway. Peter Williams opening up a second gap. Jacob Laster still sitting here in third. He hasn't been able to really close the gap on Tater Williams. Chase Wascom took control of this P number four with Brandon Combs back there in P number five. Still a good point tonight as we got four to go. It'll be three to go at the line. Three laps to go. Race leader, Tater Williams. Very dusty here tonight. Tater gonna see popsicle sticks, two to go, two laps to go. He wants to come back around here and see the white flag. He doesn't want to have a restart and let Brandon Marlowe get back on the bars, those cool ray bars back there. So he'll pick up the white flag. It'll be one more time around Fairbury Speedway for the Pro Late Model Dirt Series tonight at Fairbury. Round number five, Tater Williams trying to make a three-peat be so sweet and he'll come off turn number four He'll win the Illinois Dirt Classic here at Fairbury. It'll be Brandon Marlowe coming across the line there in second. Third will go to Jacob Lassiter. Chase Wascom will be fourth with Brandon Combs in fifth. Brandon Bender in sixth. Justin Glenn Hill sitting there in the seventh position. Cody Terry in eighth. Josh Myers in ninth. And Dustin Kenyon rounding out the top ten. Look at the timing and scoring and find where your favorite driver unofficially comes across the stripe here tonight. And we're going to go down trackside in just a couple of moments to talk to these drivers and see what they have to say after an amazing race here tonight at the Fairbury Speedway here for the second night of racing. Don't go anywhere, race fans. Hear what your top drivers have to say when we go down into the Vortex Wraps victory lane for the post-race celebration. The Pro Late Model Dirt Series is brought to you by ShowMeDirt.com Torque Graphics 107 Tire and Service Wraps Damian Patton Real Estate Houston Gettering CK Racing Evolution Racing Technologies 9-Force Combs Cuts Scott Morgan Flooring Marvel Portable Welding Jekyll Controls Evolution Bodies, Colic Eye Racing Photos. Welcome back here to the Fairbury Speedway. Dirt fans for the Illinois Dirt Classic here tonight for the Pro Late Model Dirt Series. Fans for the Illinois Dirt Classic here tonight for the Pro Late Model Dirt Series presented by ShowMeDirt.com. Let's head down to the Vortex Wraps Victory Lane because, boy, this man has just been on a tear as of late. Uh, let's go talk to your race winner of Tater Williams. Tater, you got one fast hot rod here this week. At uh, Fairbury, what is the secret sauce up underneath this car? Uh, we just can't give that away yet. But, uh, yeah, she was fast. It was a different beast tonight to tackle around this slick track, especially 65 laps. But uh, we were able to hold off a late charge from 37 there and uh, get her done. You definitely got her done here tonight. Tater, as of last night when you parked this car in the Vortex Rats victory lane, you were able to jump and take the points lead. With this back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wins now, you will officially take that points lead and extend it. It was only nine points coming into the night. Now you're looking at about a 17-point gap between you and Chase Wascom, and it's still early in the season, but what's it going to take to even extend that now when we head to Knoxville next week? It's going to take a lot more consistency, that's for sure. I just got to continue being smooth and do everything right all night long and uh, hopefully don't have any more bad pill draws. <laughs> well, tonight you got lucky with that Dyer uh, trucking invert wheel. You got to start up front, and once again, you got to lead every lap here tonight, just like last night. And, boy, I know your team is back there. They're celebrating already. So let, let's just get down to it. Who's on the side of this This uh, one what is it? The 182? Yeah, it's the 182 tonight. 
I got to thank Combs Cuts, Phantom Race Engines, Hoosier Race Tire, uh, everybody back in the Discord. They're going to be hooting and hollering after this. Uh, I got to thank Turn 3 for putting on an amazing broadcast for everybody to watch. And Cody for putting on a great league because we dang sure ain't easy to deal with. Well, there you heard it, heard it from Tater Williams. That driver goes back to back to back. The driver out of Kentucky, the Longhorn chassis. Man, that boy, he's got something figured out, race fans. These guys are really going to have to start to wheel him back in before Tater Williams starts to extend that points lead. Congratulations to him, though, as he picks up the win here tonight. Of course, coming home in second. Man, it's good to talk to this guy twice in one night. Brandon Marlow, you can't run away and hide from us anymore. The fans know your name, and they want to hear from you. Yes, sir. We had a we had a good run there. but Moved back because of the invert. Uh, got caught up there in a little lap traffic. Had to take a quick repair and come from the back, but... I was hoping maybe lap traffic would work back in our favor there towards the end, but just didn't quite make it. Yeah, how hard was it to race with the lap traffic there as you were reeling back in Tater Williams? That final restart, you didn't just let him run away and hide, and then the lap traffic sure didn't help. Uh, lap traffic, they were they were pretty gracious and, and moved over and let us race it out. Uh, I took advantage of it there once and threw a slide job on him, just couldn't make it stick. But uh, it was a it was good race for sure. <laughs> He was probably one of the best races I've seen in a long time here on the iRacing.com platform. That is for sure. And you and those guys over there putting on one heck of a show. What do you think just next week, though, when we invade the sprint car capital of the world over there at Knoxville? Well, I'm hoping for a pretty good result. Uh, ran a lot of laps at Knoxville getting ready for the spring fling. So uh, pretty pretty familiar with that track in the last couple months so uh hopefully we can at least put it back on the on the podium and get another interview well we hope you can do it next week at least pick up a heat race win the fans want to hear more from you brandon but a, a second place finish here tonight who made this all possible in the long truck here to illinois i'd like to thank all my teammates over at uh, dtj especially jacob lasner congratulations to him on the third place and uh milner media and designs for hooking me up with the rap, and then uh, the wife for watching the little one while I'm in here having fun. Well, that is probably the smartest man alive, race fans. He thanked the most important person probably on the pit crew, and that is the wife out there. So if you're out there watching wife, he picked up a podium finish here tonight. You know, maybe a little celebration ends in tail. Sitting in the third position tonight, though, he made a rally, and that is for sure. His name was known here tonight. Jacob Lasseter, a great run for you in this whole group. But third place seemed to be where you were just stuck hanging out at. Uh, yeah, for the most part. Um, I got got shuffled back there. Um, uh, Tater threw a big slider, and I wasn't going to try to do anything crazy early in the race. And I checked up just a little bit, and I let a guy get on the outside of me, and that threw my rhythm off, and I got into the wall. And before I knew it, I was back there in the seventh or eighth and then i just kind of got fortunate to uh get some some good restarts on the outside and drove around some people there at the end and um so yeah it was pretty eventful now you're only making i believe this is your second start of the season i think if i read the notes right coming into the night so you're way down to the points championship on 18th tonight coming in what's it going to take to start climbing through the field here to get back inside the top 10 uh well we, we ran the first uh race and we had to leave early for the spring fling that kind of messed us up and then we had some big storms come through my area and knocked out the power and i missed a week there and so man we're just um top top five pays the um top five pays the uh pays the money and but you know i don't know if we have at that point if we're gonna have a, enough to make it but we're going you know going to try to keep plugging along and see if we can get Brandon in the top three and and see if we can get him some some money and and as a teammate you know I want to support him and figure out a way to figure out a way to get him uh, keep moving up in the points for sure. So what you're saying is it was a great night for points for the team regardless as you guys finish on the podium two and three and that's a good night in anybody's book but who made this all possible back home there in Tennessee? Uh, I just got to thank um, Max Green, um, who come on board this year, and um, he's been a huge sponsor for us, and can't thank him enough. And I got to thank Milner Media and Design for the wrap on the car. Um, all the guys at Team DTJ, um, 
Brandon and Justin, we've been knocking, been running a bunch of late models trying to get better in these things. I think it's starting to pay off. Um, good job to Brandon getting second place. Thought he might have had something there at the end, but uh, track just wasn't going to play out for anything exciting there at the end, or just on top. But yeah, I mean, uh, I got to thank the wife for sure. Um, she takes care of the little one and lets me do this. And so without her support, it wouldn't be possible. I uh, just got to thank Cody and all the guys that put the league on, everything they do. And I got to thank you for the broadcast, man. You do a Awesome job every week. Well, there you hear it, race fans. Jacob Laster will come home, P number three, rounding out the podium. A great night for him and a great points night for Team DTG. As uh, a team, team DTJ, I can get it out there. I can almost talk correctly after this. I'm just so excited after that great race here tonight by these drivers. They put on one heck of a show as Tater Williams goes back to back to back. will extend that points championship lead. Let's see if we can take a look at your unofficial feature results here. Find where your favorite driver will wind up here tonight in the Illinois Dirt Classic here for round number five. Of course, Dylan Hutchinson not able to take to the grid. Cody Early having to exit early here. No pun intended. Brian McDaniels having a little problem also, but everybody else having great nights here as they will look now to head to Knoxville just next week. So for everybody here at the Pro Late Model Dirt Series presented by ShowMeDirt.com, we hope each and every one of you enjoyed the show here tonight from the Fairbury Speedway, our second night of racing. We also got to thank Brandon Combs over at Combs Cut. He had his tires grooved and psyched pretty good. He had us cut just perfectly, but he also went out there before the race and showed these guys how to cut their tires, and well, see how well that did. They were able to finish ahead of him. But for everybody at the Pro Late Model Dirt Series, everybody at Combs Cut, ShowMeDirt.com, and all of us here at the Turn 3 Racing Network, we hope you enjoyed tonight's show, and we can't wait to see you next Wednesday at the races. The following has been a production of the Pro Late Model Dirt Series. Not to be reused without permission or the written consent of the Pro Late Model Dirt Series in any way, shape, or form. We hope you've enjoyed this broadcast.